What are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? I came, I came here to pray. Pray? Pray? You mean like worship? Yes. <laughs> Don't you know that's against the law? Who are you? I found some food. Did anyone see you? Uh, no. What did I tell you about going out in the daylight? But I found <laughs> food. I got. Oh. <laughs> See, we uh, have, a, have a dinner guest. I caught her snooping around out front. She looks like a valid. Did, did you check her? Um, you have the light. Oh, yeah. She's, she's a valid, so... Um. A valid? <laughs> I should cut that arm off. Are you a spy? I think I've seen you creeping around here before. What's this? Hmm? It's a book. Oh, it's a book. Look, it's a book! <laughs> I know it's a book! What kind of book? Called the Bible. The Word of God. God? There is no God. Not anymore. You can read? Yes. So you know what happened. Why do they hate us? They don't hate you. They're afraid of you. Afraid of what's in your blood. What's in our blood? It started decades ago. When they first discovered it. The gene. They called it the Hamanara Strand. The root of all violence. My research has uncovered that our genetic makeup is more than just our physiological presence. Uh, it's deeper than that. Within some of us lies a gene that has been passed down from generation to generation and started war after war after war. If this gene is in your DNA, you will commit a violent crime. We'll have several speakers. Do you think the votes will pass? I'm not concerned. You know what motivates people? Fear. What are you suggesting? That you stay on your present course. It will only work if people believe that it solves a problem. Then I'll have to make the problem worse. So that my solution is the best option. Deliver the air, and you'll have power beyond your imagination. So, without further ado, uh, uh, please welcome to the stage, Danelle Terrell. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm proposing may very well end terrorism and mindless violence altogether. We have, for once, a true chance at world peace. Dr. Bali announced his research at the Geneva Conference last April with UN President Daniel Terrell 
proposing a blood mapping program to register all persons to a database that will make them known who are most likely to commit crime already several countries have begun implementing this program which is encouraging other countries to follow suit the un meets today calling for cooperation in implementing this new idea globally How can they do this to us? Isn't it a breach of our amendment rights? What? Do you have something to hide? I don't want this to determine my future. Emma, what do you think? They're just going to arrest people who have broken no law. But they will. You're talking in potentials to commit crime. And preventing something before it's committed is just a fundamental paradox to the whole system. This ball has never fallen to the ground or in theory, committed no crime. Lexi, if I drop this, will it hit the ground? If you catch it, will you even know if it was going to? Would there be a need to catch something if it wasn't falling? Yep, but <laughs> the ball wasn't acting on its own though, Professor. You, you dropped it and you chose to drop it. Just as you made the first two fall, you, you chose to act on the third. You prove that we have the ability to either act or abstain from any action, even the action of acting to arrest someone who has really committed no crime, but there is a certain genome, or not arresting them. I wonder, Lexi, when that time comes to have your blood tested, what do you think your blood will say? Can you choose something which has been in your bloodline? If you turn to page 482 in your textbook, I've rendered conventional security oh, strategies oh, irrelevant really and ineffectual. Yeah, so we bad. have to evolve. Guys, please. And I believe the EU President Turrell's proposal and Dr. Bali's research. Well, but what happens is a lot of people who decided to leave early, a lot of people have left, a lot of folks have gone west, gone north, a lot of people have gone to relatives, friends' houses where they feel safer. So at this point right now, we believe there's plenty. And highlight the best in people, it can also bring out the worst. Good morning, Natalie. Even with all of our television lights set up here, three gentlemen just climbed into the broken window. But the forfeiture of a negligible amount of personal liberty is a small price to pay for the promise of a safer, less violent world. It's everywhere. Yeah. So much for having a choice. Dad? Are you watching this? Yeah, I know. All right, I'll be home soon. Rachel? Are you okay? What are you doing? It's the end of the world, guys. Uh, Terrell's not after world peace. He's after world domination. And I'm gonna go home with my family. Try to find somewhere away from this place. Where, where will you go? Isn't the majority of the world behind this? I don't know, Lexi. But there's no way Terrell's up to any good. We'll find somewhere. Yeah, I don't fully understand the science of blood mapping, but I don't really see how it affects us. 
You guys don't have to come with me, but you're certainly welcome. It's like the whole world had gone insane. Looting, rioting, people were herded like cattle into tents, testing them for evil. Those with the gene were marked and validated as pure. The others, the invalids, they weren't so lucky. No, no, let me go! The machine is wrong! It's wrong! Oh. Kind of, you know? Yeah, I mean, I like to think I'm a good person, but I guess we'll find out. Who is texting you? What? Your phone. It keeps going off. What is it? The professors want to meet with me. Which ones? Something's just not right. I don't, I don't trust them. I haven't figured it out yet. The uh, global blood mapping program is ahead of schedule. The results are coming in. I don't care about the results of your stupid program. When I backed your research, I had one goal. No problems, please. That's it. Next. Why this work for the implants? Lexi Jones, 22, Morgantown, West Virginia. 100% match. We found the air? Looks like it. It's time to go. What about him? This has never happened before. What happened? The power went out. We can't get the implant? Here, take this, and if anyone asks you if you've received the implant, just show them these serial numbers and it should work the same way. Come back in the next few days and we'll get this figured out, okay? Hi, Dr. Stewart. Sorry it took so long to get back to you. And you texted about meeting? You didn't? Oh. Okay, sorry to bother you. Bye. He didn't text me about meeting. That's weird. Try the others.
same thing? Yeah. None of them reached out to me. So who sent the text messages? Hey, watch it. That's when I first met him. If I only knew how much he changed my life. Our lives. The world. What a load of crap! It's all about greed. You ballads just want it all for yourselves. Who knows? She could have led them here. They want nothing more but to rid us off this dirty planet so they can have it all. I say we kill her! No! She's one of them. She could help us. She could get us food. And you're gonna trust her? You're an invalid. Why would she help you? Because I know how to end this. You're all living a lie. I'm not who you think I am. And I didn't come here to pray. It's not about what's in your blood. It's about what's in mine. Well, let's see what's in your blood then. Sable! <sighs> Whatever. I've gotta go feed the others. Come on, Torque, let's go. Eva, you watch her. What's your name? Alexis. Lexi. My name's Eva. Why do I feel like I know you? What is in your blood? Something that could save the world. Or end it. this? How did you get my number? I will answer your question soon, but right now you have to get out. They're coming. Lexi, you have to trust me. Stay on the phone and I will get you out. How do you know my name? I've been sent to protect you. Go to the door, and when I tell you, open it and move quickly down the hall to the right. Emma is in the room at the end of the hall. The door will be unlocked. a little, but uh, I'm fine. I think we're drugged. Who are you talking to? I don't know, but I think we can trust him.
It will lead you out. Once out, you'll see a small house in the center of a clearing. Run towards that house. The door will be unlocked. Wait for me there, but don't turn on any lights or make noise. Now go. Wait, what about you? There's no time. Go now. Turn on the wall. Turn on the wall. Left turn on the wall. Left turn on the wall. Left hand on the wall, left hand on the wall. Left hand on the wall, left hand on the wall, left hand on the wall. Our Father, who art in heaven. What are you saying? It's um, a prayer. I learned it when I was little. My parents told me whenever I'm afraid to pray. Can I say it with you? Of course. You know it too? Yeah, I think so. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is heaven. Where did they go? They came before. Keep searching! I thought I smelled a traitor. I was a step behind, old friend. Where's the girl? She's safe and far away from me. Enough, Riley. You need to come back to where you belong. No. I'm nothing like you. You can't change what you are or what you've done. You're wrong. Simyaza will return. We know about the girl. And when we find her, it would be wise to be on our side. And do you know who else will return? Someone more powerful than Simyaza. And he will be no match for him. You think he's going to forgive what we did that day? He already has. It's never too late, Azil. He can forgive. Enough! Last chance. Give up the girl. Never. Now what? Now we wait. Do you believe in God, Eva? What does that have to do with this? Everything. Do you mean like in this book? Yes. I don't know. I can't read. I can teach you. Why would you do that? Because I want to be your friend. But you're one of them. Why would you help me? 
Friends can come from the strangest of places. Lily Aiden. Lily, it's Dusk. What do you want? Whoa, is that any way to treat your best friend? Adam. Okay, okay. So I came across this blog about the end time scenarios. It paints Danelle as like the Antichrist or false prophet. I'm listening. It has some shocking photos that shows Danelle's bodyguard in several different photos all around the world, all in different decades, even a few paintings, in which his likeness is unquestionable. It's crazy. Oh, that doesn't sound credible. What's the story? You let her get away. I don't care. Sir? Yes? They're ready for you now. Thank you. I'll be right there. Find her. Or Azil will find you. And the blood mapping program is a guise by which Danelle is helping this man rise another to power. A supposed ancient angel. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, send that to me in an email. We have a choice. Are we going to bow to the violence and hatred of a few? Or will we band together, sacrifice, and ensure that every man, woman, and child on this planet is able to live free? For only when we have become one will we truly know our enemy. Only then can true victory, freedom, and peace be at all possible. Who are you? Who were those men? Are you hungry? Answer my question. I will, but you should eat first. It's a long story. I don't want food. I want answers. Okay. I'll tell you what I can but not so much that it might endanger you further. Blood mapping has enabled us to not only pinpoint illegal activity, but also to prevent it. Cold cases have been solved by finally having access to all its citizens' DNA. As a result, we have seen crime drop significantly in many parts of the world. And I have every reason to believe that as we continue to map, we will see one day violence eliminated from our planet entirely. Mr. President. There's a battle that's being waged that's been going on for a very long time. Like a war on terror? It's a different kind of battle. What do you mean? It's a fight that's being fought in a different reality. A different reality? Yes, on a spiritual plane. Although your world has done a good job of making us seem like ancient myth, I assure you we're very real. What about individual liberty? How do you respond to the resistance of those who feel their freedom is being infringed upon? The balance between individual liberty and collective peace, it's a fragile one, which is why we must act now, before it's too late, before freedom is lost for us and for our children. Although it cannot be seen most of the time, sometimes our war does spill into your world. What do you mean? I'm one of the Watchers. The Watchers? One of the 200 sent to protect and watch over humanity after the fall of Eden. Eden? Like, the Garden of Eden? Yes. After the serpent deceived Eve, we were sent to make sure the serpent didn't tempt you again. And you've been watching us? I've been watching you, Lexi. Me? Why me? To protect you. From what? Not from what, but from whom. Who then? An old foe. Your family, Lexi, has an adversary, a being trying to eliminate your bloodline. I don't have a family. Why do you think that is? They died in a car crash when I was little. Did they? What then? Oh, you're saying that they were murdered? In a way. You believe in God, Lexi? What does that have to do with this? Everything. And you think you can accomplish this? The UN is voting right now to approve a monumental resolution that will place immense pressure on criminals and terrorists. Food distribution will be limited to participants in the World Blood Program. A special mark has been placed upon all of those who have been mapped, which henceforth will allow them to purchase 
and possess food from grocery stores and restaurants. But more importantly, it will keep the terrorists and criminals among us at bay by depriving them of the most basic human need, food. Okay, let me get this straight. You're a watcher. Right. People after me are watchers. Right. Because you're instructed to protect my bloodline. Right. Because of prophecy. Right. I don't think you're telling us everything you know. Does that bother you? It bothers me when we get kidnapped in the middle of the night. It bothers me when we have to run for our lives and have no idea why. What? Why should we trust you? How do we know it's not you who's trying to kill us? How do we know this isn't some sort of trap trying to earn our trust before you deliver us to the real threat? Who are you? What is your name? Names can be very personal. We're not allowed to talk about such things. You aren't giving us any details. It's for your protection. That's not good enough. It's how it has to be. Then we're leaving. You can't leave. It isn't safe. Neither is staying here with someone we know nothing about. What is your name? How can you assure us that this program cannot be hacked for personal gain? As I mentioned in my address to the General Assembly, there are some sacrifices that must be made for a secure and peaceful future. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. It's the terrorists who now have something to fear, namely, Starvation. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, how is this? No more questions, guys. Thank you. No, how is this going to affect the president? My name is Riley. And you knew my parents? Yeah, I did. When did this begin? When the loophole was created. Loophole? Jesus Christ spilled his blood and freed humanity from the curse of death. So too the spilled blood of the traitor will free Sinyaza from his current bondage. If he is freed, he'll start again, but this time he'll destroy everything. So I'm a traitor? No. Why me? Because of your ancestor, Judas Iscariot. A long time ago there was a rebellion in heaven. One of the angels, Lucifer, decided he didn't need God. And that he should be in charge. Lucifer was thrown out of heaven by God. But not without taking the other angels with him. His heart bent for revenge. Lucifer found a way to injure God. He found humanity. Lucifer tricked them and they disobeyed God. choice but to remove them from the garden and even though they had to leave that perfect place and endure the curses God had put on them God still loved them and had a plan to put an end to Lucifer through her bloodline God knew the snake was wicked and would try again so he sent 200 angels to look after and protect men as the war unfolded around me. The children born became giants, men with incredible strength. 
what power they had. The race of men almost completely wiped out, deluded by the Watchers. I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race that I have created. And those that have betrayed me shall be encased in cells for eternity. And the world will be cleansed from the evil that has been brought upon it. After the flood, Samyaza was punished. Locked away and turned to stone for his treachery. Until a later time when he would face a final judgment. After the floodwaters began to dissipate and the land began to appear, God sent his archangel Michael to bind all the remaining watchers. God forgave me. Lucifer was able to save one watcher. Azeel. There will be a traitor, a traitor who will kill my son. The death of my son will repair what has been broken in the garden. His innocent blood will cover the sins of humanity. And the blood of this traitor can end the war of the fallen. It is the last of the line that is the key to their release, or the end of their existence. Is this war? Disease? Religious conspiracy. People stop at nothing to find you. And this blood mapping program is able to find me too. Why do you think you were taken the same day as when you registered? You sent those text messages to keep me from going. My professors want to meet with me. I did. And I stopped the implant, which they could use to track you. Why is he waited until now to find me? Azil can only use the blood of the heir to release some Yaza every 17 years. 17 years? That's when my... That's right. 17 years ago, your parents died in a car crash. I pulled you from the wreckage and hid you until the apex passed. Azil has had to wait another 17 years to find you. Tell me about this. The coin has a protective seal on it. Azil can't find you when you have it.
floor, clear my schedule, and take the afternoon off. Are you sure, sir? Yes, I'll be in my office for the rest of the day. I've got some matters I need to attend to. Why can't you use a door? I will never get used to that. Has she been found? We have been working on finding her. You understand the urgency of this, I assume. I know. I just need a little more time. The girl should be your primary focus. I still have an office to run, in case you've forgotten. You're as sympathetic to your own personal agenda. But you must not forget how you came to be in the position in which you now find yourself will not go well for you, should you forget your true task. If we don't release Samyaza at the apex, your office will diminish under the reality that Dr. Bali's research stands on the I know. I think it's time we take care of this ourselves. Hey! Hi, this is Lillian Aiden from the New York Times. Oh yes, hi. Yep, hi. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if I could set up a meeting with Dr. Bali regarding his research on the Hamarano strand. Hold for one moment, please. Sure. Lily. Yeah. Where are you on the coverage of today's press conference? I want to run that mm. story by tonight. Yeah, I'm almost done. Lily. <sighs> Sebastian. Don't you go rogue on me again. You lost your chance at investigative journalism after the Greenbrier incident. Hey, that wasn't my fault and you know it. I had a real story that time. You had conjecture and personal bias, Lily. <laughs> I mean it, Lily. Write the story from the day. Don't screw it up. This is your last chance. Ma'am? Yes. Lillian? I'm sorry. Dr. Bali isn't answering his phone right now. Do you have a cell number where I could reach him? I'm sorry, you'll have to call back another time.
Dr. Bali. Dr. Bali. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's right there to your left, dude. <sighs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> come on, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> nice one. God. Victory tastes so great. <laughs> Lily, what's up? Adam, you were right. I was? I mean, yeah, of course I was. Where are you? I'm at the house. All right. All right, let's go again. So you're saying all of the world's wars are because of Lexi's family and Azil trying to find them? I am. I think you're full of it. It's not something people in your day and age accept very often. Come on, Lexi, let's go. I think I'm gonna stay. What? Are you crazy? All this talk of angels and traitors' blood? I believe him. This isn't like your video games where you're the hero and everything works out fine. This is real life, Lexi. In your books, when the heroes run off into the sunset, the sunset doesn't end. Newsflash. Sunsets, though beautiful for a time, turn into dark, cold nights. Supposing this is all real, what happens if they catch her? They will place her on an altar, drain her blood, and transfuse it into Sunyaza. Why do you believe that? You can't make it up. It has to be real. You can't make this stuff up? Are you kidding? There are whole sections of bookstores that have been dedicated to stories that have been made up just like this. Don't confuse your desire to be relevant with what is fact. No, Lexi, I'm leaving. He's insane and you're insane for believing him. I'm awake. Come with me. I can't. I'm sorry. 
Please be safe out there. Lexi? gave me would be relevant, but when I got to Dr. Bali's lab, I found this. And he just gave it to you? He was dead. That's complicated. This isn't a peaceful blood mapping system to rid the world of violence. Danelle is trying to release the Watchers and make himself king. Worse yet, I think he might succeed. I went to the girl's apartment, and it, it looked like there had been a huge struggle. I think they've been kidnapped. D did you go to the police? And tell them, what, that two girls have been kidnapped to be sacrificed to release a race of angels on the earth in order to bring about the apocalypse? You have a point. What are you doing? Well, if what you're saying is true, then this guy is also this guy. What does that mean? It means they'll be hunting for the air. Wait, where is all this taking place? It'll be on the hill where Semyaza was encased in stone, and they'll be sacrificing them on the apex. When is that? A little under a day and a half. Can he be stopped? Well, legend has it that Azil keeps a dagger on him, crafted from the silver Judas was paid to portray Jesus. Other theories say that it's the blade from the Spear of Destiny. Spear of Destiny. Mm, it's the blade that was used to pierce Jesus to see if he was actually dead. So, is this blade important? Super important. It's said that it can be used to kill the Watchers, but it's also the blade that has to be used in the sacrifice to release the Watchers. And once the bloodline of Judas frees Semyaza, the dagger can be used to free his chiefs also. How many chiefs? About 20 or so. Okay, so once this Semyaza guy and his chiefs are released, then they will have the power to... Destroy humanity forever. So, you mentioned I was the only thing that could free Semyonza or destroy him. That's right. I know what free Semyonza. Your sacrifice. Right, I, I got that. What kills him? You don't have to do this. It's my other option. Constantly on the run, always looking over my shoulder. It'll all be over soon. You'll close the loophole, and you and the rest of your family line will be able to rest. There's a dagger made of highly polished, hardened steel, inlaid with silver. Azil will have it on his hip. First, he will test your blood to make sure I'm not trying to trick him. You won't be able to see well. He'll strap you down in a chair so that you won't escape. How will I take the dagger then? You'll be able to get close before he sacrifices you. It seems like we're cutting it really close. I'll be watching the whole time. Once one of your hands is free, you'll be able to dodge a descent of the dagger, take it from him, and plunge it into the statue behind Azil. And what's going to keep Azil from stopping me? That's where I come in. So, how are we going to get there? Hold on to me. Are you ready? And you said you could end all of this? Yes. I don't want to live like this anymore. I see pictures in these books. It's nothing like my world. I want to go there. Will you take me there? Those pictures are real. And I will take you there. I promise.
What about Sable? Don't worry about her. She's like my big sister. She's raised me ever since they found me as a baby. These people, this place, they're my family, my life, my memories. But I still feel so empty. Like I don't really know who I am. What happened to your roommate, Emma? Yes. Emma. There's times I was the hardest. <laughs> the air at long last. What are you doing? I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure we have the right girl. No need. This isn't Lexi. What? You brought me the wrong girl! And who are you? Run it again. How could this be? Sir, someone here to see you. Not now. It's Riley, sir. He says he has the air. This is just getting more exciting by the minute. Adam, it's a rental. <sighs> Whoa. This is it. Looks like it. afraid. Well, well. What is this present that you brought me? I brought you the air. I'm ready to end this. Do you remember your mission from God? I'm sure he wouldn't be very happy about this. I'm done. I want to end this once and for all. In exchange for her, I want back in and a position of power when Samyaza is released. It sounds very tempting. But as it turns out, I don't need little Lexi. Nor you for that matter. <coughs> Put him in the cell! What about the girl? We have her twin. Her too. We may need to use her later. I just got murdered. We have to get her out of there. Do I look like Rambo to you? We're unarmed without numbers. Shh, we need to get closer. Come on. Come on. Oh, there they are. What are they doing? Why are there still be guards around? But they just disappeared. Did you not 
see this. Yes, I saw it. They were there, and now they're not. Yeah, Adam, I saw it. Now, help me find a way in. What did she mean by my twin? I don't have a sister. I'm fine, by the way. It's not like I was just stabbed out there. Answer the question. What do you want to know, Lexi? You were adopted and raised as an only child. But there was another baby in the car the night of the accident. What happened? Azil crashed another car into your parents. And my parents? They died on impact. So you just left my sister to die then? What was I supposed to do? Azil was coming, and you were the one who needed to be saved. What happened to her? Police found her and she was raised in a nice happy home. Where has she been all of these years? I've been living with her for the better part of a year. Emma? Let go of Don't me! Don't be afraid. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us that? There was no point. She didn't believe anything else of what I had told you to. Why would knowing you two were related have made any difference? <laughs> you could have done something. Your life was the only one that mattered. My life was the only one that mattered? Her life matters too! Him stab you. Adam, I thought you said the knife would kill the watchers. I hope it does. There's not even a hole in his shirt. It's not that type of dagger. It's made immortal. He must be Lexi. So they took your sister, and if we're gonna get there before they release Samyaza, we gotta go now. Okay, let's go do your wushing thing. I can't. I don't have any power anymore. Okay, how far away is this place? About an hour. Uh, what about the apex? A little over an hour. Okay, if we go now, we can get there in time. Why are you helping us? Well, global domination by dark angelic forces where all life is destroyed is pretty terrible <laughs> sounding to me. So <laughs> we gotta go. go. We're gonna go now. Come, Come on. on. Come on. So how did you find out about all of this? Uh, I'm a journalist. <laughs> I've been following Terrell and his blood mapping program for a while and I went to visit Dr. Bali and he was dead. Dr. Dr. Bali, he's the one who found the... the her Morano strand? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened, but apparently he was disposable once they found you. So are we gonna get there on time? Uh... Uh... It's gonna be close. So, there's a chance the sacrifice might not work. What? Between Emma and Lexi, who was the second born? Lexi, that's why I grabbed her. So, the text talks about the last blood. But I've been running a debate for him since we got in the car. Post the question, if it was split between twins, would you need both bloods or just the last born? And? Well, it's split. But the problem remains that in either of those two scenarios, Emma would die for nothing. Is it working? I don't know. Why isn't this working? It must not be working. Guys, we gotta go now. I'll head down this way and distract him. You three go up there, get him out of the altar. Riley, you're mortal now. He'll kill you. I know. You risk your life for us? 
I messed up once. I won't make that same mistake again. <laughs> Go. I won't be able to distract them very long. Lexi, wait. I'm so sorry about everything. That's it. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? I don't know. Oh. The girl's blood didn't work, did it? Oh, this is gonna be fun. We were too late. We couldn't save her. Emma's blood freed some Yaz from the tomb, but he was still weak, not at full strength. For that, they needed my blood, the last of the Judas bloodline. Emma gave her life so that I could have mine. But how have they not found you after all this time? Did you hear that noise outside? The cicadas. They know when there's an imbalance in the earth. They're warning us. The apex is coming. Every 17 years, that's when Riley, my guardian angel, appears to protect me. Seventeen years ago, they came for me again. But Riley and I, we made a plan. This coin has kept me hidden. All these years, I want you to have it. Why me? Because I don't need it anymore. But they'll know where you are. I know. And what's going on here? Bribery? No, you don't understand. Give her the coin. Uh, Sable, you'd uh, better come quick. I think we uh, have a, a visitor. <laughs> <clears throat> See? I, I told you. Hello, Alexis. Did you miss me? It was just a matter of time. Now, we can make this quick and easy, or we can make this slow and painful. No. I'm ready. I'm tired of running. You killed my entire family. Destroyed everything I've ever loved. 
I have nothing left. How long I have waited for this moment. The coin couldn't protect you forever. To finally be complete. To finally fulfill my destiny. Though you are the last, your bloodline will live on for eternity in me. Then let's do this. <laughs> Glad you could make it. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Rylan! I thought Azil had taken care of you. Your henchmen are getting sloppy, Sammy. That dagger? May have taken my powers but it didn't take my immortality. Then I shall take your immortality. And then I will take your life. Taken Azil's offer when you had the chance, Riley. Didn't seem like that good of an offer. What is it? I know who I am. Do something. Here! I'll get help. Why is it not working? Be 
because of me. This is for Emma. <laughs> I think this belongs to you. From every end... ...starts a new beginning. A rebirth. A renaissance. strand was a lie. Good or evil is a choice. And free will does exist. To fight back against evil was my choice. And my daughter Eva, she was also my choice. Although Eva has the blood of a traitor, she also has the blood of an angel. But blood doesn't make you who you are. It's your soul. Your spirit. Your love of life. Of God. My eyes have been opened. And the loophole has been closed. And if they return, when they return, we will be waiting. And we will be ready. What did you think of my first novel? Well, you know, I, I don't know. You know, to be honest, I didn't even know you could write. But, uh, you know, I didn't understand half that junk with uh, Sam or whatever his name was and uh, Judas and his bloodline. But, you, you know, I thought it was pretty well written. But I really want to know, where in the devil did you get the idea to write a story like this? Um, I have a crazy imagination. Um, I don't know, I wanted to c combine my three favorite things, the Bible, books, and video games. I just, I, I really wrote it because I wanted people to question the Bible. I wanted them to open one up and see if what I wrote was true or not. <laughs> well, Lexi, that's great. That's really great. And coming from your old grandpa, I want you to always remember the true meaning of the true gospel, okay? And you know, the world's doing a great job of trying to screw that message up. But the message, Lexi, is very clear. Jesus came to this earth to save the world, and he died on the cross for all of us, regardless of who we were or what we did. 
and on the third day he rose, conquering sin and death for all of mankind. Now, I don't want you to forget that, okay? I won't forget, Papa. Well, the other thing is, what are you going to do with this book? Write a movie? <laughs> no, that would never happen. <laughs>